build our numbers by pushing our industry, supporting our own, the numbers will not necessarily be just Ghanaians. If we promote Ghanaian content and products, the diaspora will support us and we will get the numbers. Ghanaians are simply not supportive of each other. Ghanaians, both home and abroad. We need to kill the crap. We, we need to kill the, the crab mentality. Yeah. That should change. The infighting is too much. Mm -hmm. It's up to all of us. Mm -hmm. All industry players have a role to play mm -hmm. to change our narrative. Please, and George, to back it all, there yeah. should be quality. Hold on, what we do. let me take uh, Pusha's thoughts so that we can uh, let him go quickly. Uh, Pusha, are you there? George? Hello? Yeah. George? Yes, I'm did, here. did you hear that last message I read from Kujurana? He says, um, it is us. We need to kill the crab mentality. Um, we need to stop the infighting and then, um, you know, rally together so we can push up our numbers and, you know, reach a global market. I mean, I haven't acted in God knows how long. You are the one on the ground. Do you see a lot of infighting within the industry? Oh, yes. I mean, there's a truth in that. Um, you know, um, I, I, I'm aware of a few experiences. And, and it's, just, it's a shame, isn't it? Um, I just think that, you know, the understanding should be clear that this is a collective responsibility. This is a collective thing that we all need to put our hands together um, to decide differences and let, you know, make a mark with this industry because, I mean, the time is now and we, we, most of us will be we more or less getting into a phase, phase three of our lives and, and, you know, we need to see something concrete at least um, before we even hand over to the next generation. I think that we must begin to reassess why we're in this industry. I always ask, what's the motivation? I mean, the, are we in here, you know, just uh, as passive, or we're in here to make a mark and make sure that we're, we're, we're improving our industry? So um, it's not enough to say that I have a passion for acting, I have a passion for this industry, when you do understand where we are and where we need to go. So, yeah, uh, I agree. All right, Ajiti. We'll say thank you very much. Um, it's been great talking to you this afternoon. But keep listening. So if there's anything, we can quickly raise you on the line again. Akofa, I'll come to you shortly. But let me go to um, Silver Bird. Let me go to um, Miss Unoma. Um, hello there. You still there? <laughs> great, 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 great. So I mean, um, Silver Bird. I don't even remember the last time I climbed the stairs when I go to uh, when I any time I visit a, a cram hall. Do people still come upstairs? <laughs> I'm sure they do, because the biggest thing they go to, so I'm sure they do. How have you been coping with no premieres, no movies, nothing? It's, well, yeah, it's been, um, well, what would I say? Um, the, few, the first, the first month that was in April, we were very, we were, um, we expected to open in May, and, um, based on the global uh, pandemic, we just had to shut down based on government directive and um, COVID-19. So for the past five months, we've been down. It's not been easy. You know, managing staff and um, um, equipment, the wear and tear of um, so many things. So it's not been easy, basically. Have you had to let some of your staff go home? No, 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 at all. So how are you keeping them on? How do you pay them? How 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 how, how do you cope? Uh, we've been giving them stipend. We've been giving them um, not their full salary, but keeping them, um, giving them hope that we will open very soon. But I haven't let anybody go, and I've been we've been taking care of our people. What's the situation in um, places which countries that have um, you know silver bird franchises, say in Nigeria? Um, how it's the same thing. There? So it yes, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's, it's um, no cinema is open in Nigeria. It's a global thing, basically, because um, the cinema is a high risk location. You know, because an enclosed place with air conditioner and um, it's actually a high risk location by WHO. So um, it's um, something in social distancing. Some countries have opened basically, but it's very like. 30% or 40% occupancy and then showing a lot of old movies, um, not recent movies, because most companies, most studios um, in America have shut down, basically. So um, we thought these were going to release certain movies in August, but they postponed it indefinitely without no release date. So, and that's also a challenge. 
Yes, no, so a challenge for us basically because uh, we have nothing, we don't have an existing um, CPRS that's um, a schedule between the studios to know when a certain movie will come out and, um, and certain information regarding that. So even with the local produ production, I haven't been informed about um, anything for now. So, so the future is blurry now. Basically, what is the situation with the rent in the places where you're located? Say, like the Accra Mall. Do you have any um, relief on rent or anything, or are you still paying the same? Oh amount? yes, we do. We do. Actually, we have. Um, um, we've been there for eleven years, so we have a very good relationship. And based on the fact that the pandemic, so we're trying to work around it. So, um, because we have equipment there, which our projectors need to run once a week. So we use electricity, so we have to pay for that. That's why the fact that our business is not functional. Um, they've been very understanding, and um, I've been communicating to Mr. Mr. Jim and the um, head of um, tourism board yeah. and discussing, and um, from feedback from him says they have certain grants that will be coming out. We don't know the figure, we don't know um, the application guidelines, Oh, so, meant to present maybe our book and um, we get attacked anyway, 17 to 10. Um, so basically, um, I don't know what they're actually planning for us as a relief because um, certain things we need to be paid, to be paid in future. So... Some have said that actually one of the spaces that could really observe all safety protocols and still run are the cinemas. I mean, um, anybody at the entrance, when you're getting your ticket checked, you could get a, a brand new, a fresh mask as well. Um, mm. You can, um, the sanitizers and everything would be there. You would operate at 50% capacity, which yeah. would ensure social distancing and all that. Um, yeah. Why aren't you practicing something like that? Or why aren't you pushing for permit to be able to open and run at 50% uh, capacity? I have made an, an official um, request for us to do drive-in, but like I said, if if it's granted, what movies would I show? Um, I'm not aware of any local producer um, doing any um, producing any movie right now. I haven't been informed officially, and uh, between the local and international. Um, for now, I need to get approval from the government. Um, it, it's illegal. It, it would be a legal issue if I go against this and just organize it without getting approval because we couldn't emphasize um, shutting down cinema operations, social, um, any gathering. So, what I'm waiting officially for a driving cinema. And regarding certain things, certain um, health guidelines, already, if you visit the location, I've actually um, we've, um, covered up the the counter with a transparency through glass um, so that um, we don't have physical contact and we're working on our online payment platform which we introduce and try to enforce people buying tickets online and using mobile um, which would um, ease the, um, the cash movement because that is also another medium of um, the spread of COVID-19. The issue of using um, so, um, and we're going to introduce um, group booking for people so it will be easier to manage and trace, do contact tracing because for us, uh, reducing occupancy would affect so many things. It will affect the, the box office revenue that will be projected for any movie. Um, so, it's, it's, it's going to be, uh, I, I don't, we don't have everything figured out yet. Because it, we're just on the standstill, but we're just preparing for um, a positive. Um, we're looking forward to tomorrow, hoping tomorrow will be better than today, basically. So, whenever they give us the go ahead, certain plans will come into play, which we need to discuss with our partners, try the local industry, sharing formula, it's what, etc. So, basically, it's, um, you know. That's interesting. Oh dear. All right. Um, it's 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 
it's a grim situation. Anyway, for me, we'll leave it here. Um, and then we need to raise you on the line again. But stay with us. I mean, the show would end shortly. So you stay with us. Um, Leila and um, Amma, please stay with us as well. We're going to go for a short commercial break. And then when we come back, more right here on Showbiz A to Z. This is Joy. This is Joy 99.7 FM. Stay tuned. Every day, thousands of men, women, and children all over Ghana need blood transfusion to live again, and you can do something to help. Hello, my name is Nanama McBrown. My message is you don't have to know someone before you can be a blessing to them. You can safely give blood two or three times a year and continue on living a healthy and normal life. Some have given 60, 70, 80, and still counting. You can do the same. So I encourage you to give blood on a regular basis to make the world a happier place for us all to live. Thank you. Contact the National Blood Service on 0277-501-010 for further inquiries. Save blood saves lives. In every endeavor requires critical partnership. When it comes to consumer home electronics, quality from syndicated capital is your trusted partner. Not just any TV, but the quality satellite and digital LED TV provides inbuilt satellite and digital decoders with a voltage protection, free wall mount, and now a state-of-the-art surround sound bar to deliver an unparalleled entertainment experience. Not just any decoder, quality digital and satellite combo decoders come with auto scan. And voltage protector, MCA approval, multi TV certification, unlimited internet content, and 24 7 movies online. Quality products are available on higher pages to private and government workers. Police and army personnel offer as low as 27 Ghana cities per month. Call us on 0302-242-532 or 0204-413-484. Or visit syndicated capital at number 28 Farah Avenue, Adabraka, Accra. Quality. We deliver on our promise. If we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Winning strategies, nuggets of wisdom, unforgettable stories, all in one inspirational hour. Springboard your virtual university with Albert and Comfort O'Cran and guests. Planning is bringing the future into the present. A job is for the salary is mundane, it's survival oriented, and there's no passion. But a career has fulfillment, innovation, drive. A growth path is clear, and you can build step by step all the way to the top. Matriculate at 7 p.m. and graduate at 8 p.m. every Sunday on Joy 99.7 FM and live on Facebook. Springboard is brought to you by Legacy and Legacy and Joy 99.7 FM and proudly sponsored by MTN, Enterprise Group, UMB Bank, and Axis Pension Trust with support from the graphic business. When it's 2 p.m. every weekday and you want something refreshing to listen to, which radio show do you listen to? For me, when it comes to lifetime, oh, and my <laughs> legs. With you, with you, lifetime is always the best. I look so forward to hearing from you every single afternoon. You're doing a great show. Well, you can tell everybody. My name is Lexis Bale, and I bring you the best late afternoon radio show in Ghana. Drive time on Joy 99.7 FM. Great tunes, great convos, and the excitement is amazing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey. 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 Me, I'm calling from Medina. Direct. Direct. What's up, man? What's your name? What's your name? I'll check for you, Lexus. Your favorite personalities also get to let their hair down on personality profile every Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, and you? You are uh, you looking really Do good. Do I call you Kwame or the unpronounceable? I like Kwame. Okay. Yes. And should and I I'm call you a Fuekufu? Gloria Fuekufu. That's nice. You want to know their favorite songs? Anybody's dying. Uh, when we were in girls' school, as soon as they paid, 
Don't miss Drive Time on Joy 99.7 FM from 2 p.m. every weekday. I'm Lexus Bill and I'm your driver. Yo, 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 yo. and other educational programs on Joy Learning. Test the JL to short code 947 and receive the SMS alert for only 15 passwords. Joy Learning. Keep learning. At a cost of 15 pesos per message, subscribe and text JF to 8787 to receive SMS news alerts, business, sports and entertainment updates, from Joy FM, My Joy Online, and Joy News, your most credible news source. Yo, my name is Buda from Buda Entertainment and I'm urging to listen to Showbiz ATC every Saturday 2 to 6 p.m. What up, what up, it's your kid Kuda right here, official board score. You're listening to Showbiz ATC on Joy Nightmare with Seven, you heard? What's up, guys, your boy Kitty AKA? Hey, love. Right now you are listening to Showbiz ATC. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is have you ever always wanted to um, study for a UK accredited qualification? Online, that is. But have you? Is it something you wanted? Well, this is your opportunity. Joy FM and Joy News have partnered with the Commonwealth Enterprise and Investment Council, DSGD, as the advisory unit of the Office of the President, the National Commission for Civic Education, and the National Youth Authority to bring you the Commonwealth Home Individual Management Time Program. Study for 36 accredited modules across areas such as project management, operational management, customer service, business finance, business administration business management and communication techniques from the comfort of your home, your computer or your phone for the heavily subsidized price of 185 Ghana cities only. Wow. For full, for yes, you heard right. Steady for 36 accredited modules and certificates are greatly subsidized 185 cities only. Don't miss out on this opportunity to increase your knowledge, increase your employability and earn a UK accredited qualification. Join the ease of certain times created by COVID-19. No qualifications are required to register. For more information or to register, visit www.chimeghana.org. That's C-H-I-M-E Ghana.org O-R-G Or call our WhatsApp 059-460-4444 That's 059-460-4444 Music from TH for Quadges Nanisi Bet you haven't heard this one in a long time, huh? Yeah, <laughs> the station is Joy 99.7 FM, the show is Showbiz A to Z. My name is George Quay, show produced by the man Philip Nine. The studios have got Uncle Kennedy, Akofe Johnny, actress and producer, and Prince David Osei, actor and producer. In fact, they are both actors and producers. We should stop saying actress. They are, it's all actor. Eh? 
Also, yeah, on Zoom, we've got um, the CEO of Silver Bear that's still here with us. Then we've also got producer director Leila Jansi and actor, producer, and director Amakia Bebersa is also online. Ladies, you there? We're here. Sorry, please. Wow. No, Leila is the director. I'm not a director. Okay, yes, yes. Leila is the director. Yes, clearly. It's important. It's important. Yeah, it's important. I know. Right? Hollywood director. <laughs> Hollywood director. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. So let us get back into it now. Let me read this before we go. Yes, go ahead and clarify quickly, quickly before we go into it. Yes. Okay. So I already got some comments that oh my God, Layla said uh, Netflix doesn't care about quality. You know our bloggers thrive on pejorative reporting. Let me clarify something. When I said when I said Netflix cares about quantity and not quality i don't mean picture quality i mean storytelling quality because like somebody said you watch some films on netflix you're like how did this movie get there so when you say quality please we're not talking about production quality or picture quality i'm talking about storytelling quality i just want to clarify that Okay, that's clear enough. That is clear enough. Okay, that says the tone for our next discussion. So let me, ladies, listen, and I'm coming in the studio. Please listen as well. Let's quickly, let me quickly read this, then we go straight into it. Our movies do not project our culture enough. Veteran actor and television personality David Onta says indigenous Ghanaian movies have not projected the country's cultural trait enough. Hmm. According to him, just a handful of local movies project the Ghanaian culture, while others have taken up to the other cultures that he calls popular culture. Stressing on the definition of culture, he cited a few instances where some local movies have not portrayed in-depth Ghanaian culture. They say culture is our way of life. But if it is our way of life, what do we see in our day-to-day life? Do you go to bed and make up? He told Andy Dusty, host of Daybreak <laughs> Hits on Hits FM. And that was David Dunter. And um, that brings us into our next conversation. Let me start from the studios. Ladies, before I come to you, this concept of culture, because I watch movies like um, Avatar. Yeah. I watch movies like um, The Avengers, Incredible Hulk, Batman. And I ask myself, please, what culture is this? <laughs> uh, Prince yeah. David Ozai, you heard Uncle Dave. Um, Uncle Dave says you know, the movies you guys are churning out are not projecting our culture enough. Well, some of the underlying factors that could have contributed to this is some of the, unfortunately, some of the directors we happen to work with. You know, when the movie industry really blew up, we we're having Nigerian directors and. Wait, wait, wait! First off, do you agree with them? No, to some extent, I mean, he mm. made an example that you go into bed with makeup. Mm. And um, it all depends on the director, whoever is directing. I've, I've worked with Leila, and I don't think Leila will allow a character to go to bed with makeup, except she's a prostitute and she came home drunk. But is that an issue of culture or is it just an issue of bad directing? Yes, yeah, so directive from the director, you understand. Mm. But to a large extent, I think it will affect culture because what people see is you know what they please what, which culture goes to bed in makeup and that's why i said right, a while ago <laughs> that maybe the, the character is a prostitute and she's <laughs> not fair that's not fair oh, that's I, not fair please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, no 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 no, no, Prince, let's not I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. We'll come to you shortly. Hold on, okay? We'll come to you shortly. Hold on. So we'll hold that thought. We'll come to you, then you can react to it. Some ladies say they, mm. they need to go to church. They paid for the makeup. It's so expensive, like normal people. Yeah. So they need to sleep in a certain way that the next morning, they're still going to be looking fresh with the makeup and they go to church with it. Wow. They need to see the girls in bed. No, I don't think they have to no, but I think the makeup <coughs> thing is just an example that he's yeah, giving, yeah. you know. <laughs> but it, it depends on uh, it depends on who is shooting what. It depends on the producer. Mm. It depends on the director. It depends on what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, this is, uh, you can't really tie anybody and hold anybody and say you have to do uh, an, Af- an African film or that you have to really portray 
our yeah. culture yeah. in we the film. We here. have. <laughs> it looks like America. Huh? All the big cars in America, we have some in Ghana here. Mm. So if you are doing a movie and someone is using those cars or using those properties, houses, it's Ghana. Mm. You won't say because it looks so <laughs> fabulous then. I'm sorry. No, no, because wait, I know exactly what they mean. I'm hold on. I'm hold on. I'm coming to you shortly. Hold on, hold on. I'm coming to you shortly. Hold on. I know exactly what David is talking about. Okay, but I'm saying that it is Ghana. Yeah, it's 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 Ghana. So for for people like us, who I'm Pan African, is everything I do, I have exactly. my my culture, and that. I am it's there. There. it is a conscious yeah. thing. It is yeah. deliberate. deliberate. I do it deliberately. Yeah. I wear African clothes deliberately. deliberately. I cut my hair. It's a deli- It's a choice. Yeah. That I I I chose you want to look, because that's yeah. why I don't use my English name. Yeah. Since Legon, you know, yeah. I haven't used it in like thirty years or something. Yeah. What's your English name? I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you 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 have to have some. Conscious. You have to have your consciousness. Mm. You you have to have the awakening. Yeah. You know, to to stay in that. It's not everybody who has it, mm. and that's why I was going to come in when uh, Uncle, uh, Ken. Uncle Ken okay. said, um, if everybody will support the NFA to achieve their goals, but it's not only the people. Uh, who have to support the NFC. We need government to support the NFC mm. by giving us that film fund that is in the act. Financially. Mm. Yeah. You see? So people who want to do that kind of movies can assess the mm. fund. Yeah. The funding. And it is mm. even stated there which, what category of, of, of yeah. films mm. uh, will be deserving mm. of the mm. funds. And it's exactly what it says. Mm. to Portraying the Ghanaian identity, mm. portraying this. So, so those films so there should be funding because mm. I want to make movies like that. Mm. I know a lot of people who want to make movies. Look at when I produced I Think of the World. Yeah. See the trouble we went through and how much money I had to spend just because we had one scene. We went all the way to some uh, 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 waterfall just to go shoot that one scene because we were putting the tourism, showing, wanting to show off uh, exactly. uh, at my own expense yeah. the money I had to spend. See, but I said it, it, it's a deliberate thing that you want to do as a producer, it depends on the school of thought that you have and what you want to use film to achieve. Mm-hmm. People are looking at bottom line money. They don't care. They are not being patriotic. They don't even care about the story, the impact it will have, whether on the youth or as on the nation. Or they don't care. Once it's going to give them money, you see. So we have two sets of people. Those of us who want to know or want to use the film. The medium of filmmaking to sell Ghana. Yes. Yeah. And then you see, so so it's like that. Uh, so there should be there should be funding for that. Uh, there should be uh, the like we're talking about. I'm coming to you one second. Actors, builders, and all that. Yeah. When when they went to uh, do Deadly Voyage, yeah. you know, they be done so. Yeah. Uh, when yeah. they yeah. traveled to yeah. Oscar Province, yeah. you guys can travel and go and act. Mm-hmm. They have to join the union, pay something. Yeah. Do we do that here? No. Foreigners come shoot and go. You understand? So the structures are not there, and that is why it's 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 a lot of work that the NFA has to make sure that these things uh, are in place. We need government to make sure that we have that 35 percent uh, tax rebate for mm. foreigners who want to come and shoot mm, here. In South too. Africa, I think it's almost up to 40 percent. Mm. So if I go and shoot, it will be cheaper for me to even go to South Africa to mm. shoot mm-hmm. because I get 40 percent oh back. Yeah. And they want you to come there because of the tourism. You exactly. spend the yeah, money there. Exactly. You have to take fifty percent of the uh, crew and access everything there. Yeah. And that is what we need. Once we have that, and the government signs on that, you start seeing the kind of uh, uh, foreign films yeah. that will come. Let me bring that into the conversation like before I go on Zoom. Oh, and should we go on Zoom first? Yeah, okay. So let us bring um, 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 yes, ladies on Zoom. Please talk to us. I wanted to say, I wanted to contribute something and... Oh, this is... Uh, uh, for me, this is you, right? Yes, this is for me. Great. Talk um, to us. Yeah. Yes. One thing I, I, I realized about... Um, when you talk about the cultural thing, it's not just cultural. Sometimes it's promoting Ghana. Um, I got a lot of feedback from my friends uh, on, um, about Perfect Picture. And after watching Perfect Picture in Nigeria, we found out uh, how Ghana was beautiful, so scenery, and things that on, on normal day they wouldn't see in normal movies. So that was like the first movie, the first Ghanaian movie that they saw another part of Ghana. So it's, it's actually the stories we tell and what we show the world. And then going about government, I mean, 
I, I'm thinking personally, um, we, we, we try to blame the government for investing, but we need to work together. Like, how do we engage, how does the industry engage private investors? Um, do they have seminars, bringing angel investors, giving them bringing presentations? Why are we saying this? Because let me use a movie like 30 Days in, uh, in Atlanta. The movie was done two years before it got to the cinema. We have, I have situations in Ghana where people need to set and bring the movies to the cinema. They don't give me enough time to market it. They don't really want to release the synopsis of the movie. And I have a legit of the market that I call new money, new money. People would have done this movie like three or five months before. And we would have been able to raise funding for you to market this movie. So sometimes those structures need to be in place before they take you seriously. You know, you want to, so you, you have a lot of uh, well-to-do Ghanaians that have money to spend on a on project if they realize we are serious. Your numbers need to make sense. Your, your business plan on how you sell the movie, not just the cinema, your supply chain, your distribution channel. But everybody just wants to make money at the cinema. They just won't stop. So for government to take it seriously, you, you, you need to try out the other side. You know, the private investors. How do you reach them? It's not just government, 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 government. You know, it's, 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 it's like what they say in America. You don't ask what the country can do for you. What can you do for your what country? What you can do for your country. For me, thank you very much. Um, Amma, are you there? Go here, thank you. <laughs> Amma, are you there? Um, I think, do you know what, in, in, you know, uh, Uncle David Danto, um, amazing man, and I think, you know, when older people speak, we definitely have to listen, there's wisdom in there, and um, I don't blame him for that comment, but one, one of the things I do think as filmmakers is, and I think like I was um, saying earlier, everybody has a choice, right, everybody has a choice in terms of what they want to project, Somebody may say that, look, I'm sick of seeing rural Africa, so for my films, I only want to see Chisako mansions only. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Does that make sense? You've got a choice. The same way you, you may choose to go and watch Avatar and you, you like um, superhero films where you know, people are climbing on walls and it's so unbelievable. Somebody wants to see um, romantic comedy. And love sets in the city. Somebody wants to see action films. Somebody wants to see this. And usually, I do think as filmmakers, everybody has a choice in the kind of stories they tell. Often, you have filmmakers who will show, you know, not let's not just show that only the the, the, the painted polish. Where how many people live in the say Etrafalco? Zero point something percent of the country. So somebody may choose to have the balance. I do honestly think that culture. Culture, there's, there's so many facets of culture. When we're talking about culture, is it because we're not showing our dua? Is it our, our clock? Is it, what do we mean? I do feel like a lot of times different parts of our culture are featured in different films. It may only be in a subtle way um, based on how the filmmaker or the director wants to showcase it. Um, and, I, and I'm glad that Uncle David has maybe given us a reminder because often, maybe I think we, we, somebody, we may be going too far this way, too far that way. So when someone like him speaks, it's good for us to re remember that. If bear in mind that, and this is the one thing I've learned. Most times, when people I want I want to say, watch a film say from Ghana, they want to see something they haven't seen before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They want to see. So, for example, I live in New York. I'm surrounded by a concrete jungle, and you're showing me a film of maybe South Africa in the concrete jungle. It's very sad, but the notion is not of um, South African or of a concrete jungle. So when you show them waterfalls, when you show them um, beautiful landscapes, they, wow, that's amazing. You know, I saw that, I, I think that the, uh, the building in Ada in perfect picture, and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Where is this place? Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. I, I do think that based on who your audience is, there's so many ways of infusing our culture, our tourism, um, our, our dance, our food, mm -hmm. our, our way of dressing. There's so many ways to do it. That they can um, and I do feel like point. our filmmakers do, though, to a certain degree. I do yeah. think that they do. Yeah, they do. Later? I, I think that, yeah, they yeah. do. Lena, you there? I'm right here. So Beautiful. I'm probably culture. I'm probably I'm probably gonna take hundred hours to talk about it. Please do <laughs> <laughs> make it brief. Okay, so let me say this. Let me say this, okay? The the word show I, I support what Uncle David is saying in a way, but I understand him differently. I feel like his 
his phrasing or his choice of words is not it's not necessarily portraying or conveying what he's trying to talk about. This is subtext. I think the argument of culture is being, that this conversation is being simplified. When you say, when Uncle David says, Ghanaians do not show their culture, I don't think he means Adowa, African fabric, mm. waterfalls. That is not what he's talking about. He's ta- when you watch an American film, okay, a couple of years ago, I was directing a film called And Then There Was You. Mm. There, was a dialogue, there was a line in the film, and I, I said, action. Rachel Bouzé walks out, delivers this line, the line, then she stops. Then she looks at me, she says, Leila, that doesn't feel right coming out of my mouth. So we pause, we walk out, and this is the reason why she said that. In as much as I've lived in America for so long, um, close to 25 years, I'm still African. That's why you have me on the show. I'm still Ghanaian, right? And so some of my words, some of my phrasing is still Ghanaian. It's still African. So she said, I don't think an American would talk like this. So we have to change the dialogue. So till today, when I write a script, which is an American story, I bring on a dialogue expert to help me make the dialogue sound more American. Because they are phrases, they are, they are, they are, they are colloquialisms, they are things that are familiar. For example, you're watching a Ghanaian film and somebody says, oh my God, like seriously? That's not Ghanaian. That's not a Ghanaian thing. That's something you develop from the internet. So if mm. you're making a movie about Instagram, sure, you could do, oh my God. That's like seriously. But if, mm-hmm. if, if you're, if you're, if, then what would a Ghanaian say? Are you serious? Are you serious about this right now? That's what a Ghanaian would say. Mm. So it's really about the behavior the identity of the culture of the people that are being portrayed in this film. When you watch an Indian film, they show extremely affluent India, but the way they speak is Indian. Right. right? There are certain things that are unique to India that when you watch it, you're laughing, you're like, oh my God, that is so Indian. Or you watch a Ghanaian movie and you're but the, the, how are you writing your dialogue? Are you writing your dialogue the way you think Americans talk? Are you writing your dialogue from watching Kim Kardashian? Are you writing your dialogue from watching BET? Right. Or are you writing your dialogue the way Ghanaians talk? That is what we mean by culture, culture. and identity. Okay. It does not mean location. Look, American films go shoot in London. American, the film we shot in the Dominican Republic, it wasn't a Dominican film, it was an American film. It was set in Florida. But we shot in Dominican Republic because we got the tax credit, and Dominican looks like Florida. You understand? It works. And it when you talk about way, yeah. Avatar, yeah, when you talk about Avatar or um, X-Men, that's sci-fi. That's, that's a completely different thing. That's the culture. Yeah. Of Layla, you know what we're going to do? I think we need a whole discussion on culture. Because uh, okay, it definitely looks like so. Don't worry. The producers are gonna get in touch again so that we would have a whole discussion on culture. Uh, today I'm out of time. So for me, uh, Layla and Amma, I would say thank you very much. Push up. Um, yes. Uh, it's again. Push, push, up. push up. Yeah. Oh no. Push up is gone. Uh, push up. And thank you all very much. I mean, it's 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 been very very enlightening. You've given us a lot of education and various perspectives on this subject matter. But we are nowhere near the end of this discussion. Oh, well, maybe, just maybe we might continue it next week and um, we'll do that, alright? Yes. Alright, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so um, let us come back to the studio. Yes, um, uh, 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 you were saying? Yes, I said, talking about culture, you know, yes. today we are celebrating a legend, oh one goodness. of our own. Oh, and I you just gone ahead. I, I hey, wanted to help help No, because, because uh, <laughs> there's a Zoom, there's, 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 uh, there's a, 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 a virtual seminar series yeah. that is going on as we speak oh, and okay. because the theme is the impact of African films in contemporary times that's why I just brought it in now because we're talking about culture that's what we are discussing today uh, the impact of African films in contemporary times uh, that is what we're using to celebrate the legend Kenampa so Kenampa happy 80th birthday I'm supposed to be there you pulled me here you know you know I was supposed to be there too because <laughs> Kenampa and I 
share a different kind of bond. Oh, okay. The very first movie I featured in, Out of Ghana, it was called Anansi. We shot in Ghana, Morocco, Germany, and Spain. Mm. Wow. And it was an odyssey on the stowaway thing. Um, four people from Ghana wanted to go to Europe via the ship. So we went in the ship and um, we crossed all the way. We made it all right. But they shot it next to real. It was like a documentary. So, you know, when we got to the stretch of Gibraltar part, when we were crossing, you could actually see dead bodies actually floating. Oh On the Sahara Desert, we actually saw dead bodies. People who, you could see their water, it was finished, and oh, they were dead okay. on the desert. People who were trying to cross. So they actually filmed like it was next okay. to real. Okay. It was so, so, so real. And um, the connect came through King Ampao. I was then a member of David Hunter's Cozy Cozy Theatre Company. Oh, okay. And when I went on to King Ampao, I told them, oh, that's your guy, that's your guy, just pick him. And <laughs> I, I, I got the lead. And they, they paid right. quite well. They paid hey. quite well, too. Hey. So he's a great guy, and um, we salute him. And we're done. Yeah. Culture. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be opening the phone line soon. Let me quickly announce 0302 216541 You can be a part of this conversation right here on Joy. Yes, sir. I was listening to Peter Sedufia mm-hmm. mm. in an interview with Andy Dosti yeah. on Hits FM. And uh, this same issue about producers not uh, shooting films to portray the Ghanaian culture. Yeah. Not in the manner that Leila brought, you know, the angle that Leila brought, but in maybe just portraying Ghana and uh, our activities yes. or the way we do things, our food and that kind of thing. Maybe that's what Andy was trying to uh, put across to Peter. And Peter's point was, like, the two producers and actors have said here, it's a choice. Mm-hmm. It's a choice. And he, he zoomed in on the fact that if you want me to produce something that sells my country, Ghana, then funding. I need the funding, mm, funding to do that. And Akofa took the words out. I was going to <laughs> go on to the film fund that has been established under the Act. Now, there's supposed to be funding for movies that will portray our country, you know, in various uh, uh, forms. Now, how do we get that money? That is the issue. It's in the law. The law says so. The law stipulates where the funding should come from. People who should contribute to that fund. But operationalizing it is another matter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All together. Mm. Normally when these things happen, <laughs> yeah, we are all happy. Oh, we've got the film <laughs> act. Yeah, we've got this. But, yep. yes, yeah, yeah, operationalization. Yeah, that's, that's true. And again, uh, the lady from Silverbed, yeah. you know, she Fumi. Also, Fumi also went on about, we yeah. always asking yeah. government, 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 government. In my era, they when are, I was going... Yes, they are t- like, 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 giving you the, like giving you the law. Yes. Yeah. To work with. Yeah. That is that, something that government needs to do. That the, and the rebates, uh, the tax the rebates, rebates for foreigners can yeah. be done by in the uh, local private, private, private yes, individuals. Yes, individuals. It has to be government. So yeah. that is the kind of support I'm talking about Correct. from government. Correct. You see, when the NPP came up with this, uh, uh, how many theaters they were going to put up across very, very the country, mm-hmm. I sat here and I said, I didn't think it was necessary for them to try and come up with that uh, uh, audacious promise. Why did I say that? Because in my time, when I was growing up, all the movie theaters that we had in this country were privately owned. Captain owned all the theater, uh, uh, the movie uh, cinemas Const- that started Const- with Constellation o- 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 Opera. 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 Orion. Mm-hmm. The one at um, Adabraka. Yeah, the, no, Adabraka. Yeah, Adabraka was Rex. That was Rex. Rex. And then you had Globe. You had Globe and things. Then there was Dobles. No, Goyal. Almost all the theaters were private privately. Yeah, that, can, can, that can be private. Yes. yes. What happened to the theaters? They turned to churches. Why did they turn to churches? Because nobody... The, the revolution. Do you know what happened? Yeah. The night, the night yeah, the nightlife died. The the night night. Night. No, it wasn't the nightlife. Oh. It was the introduction of video 
cassettes oh, okay. and the machines well, when when ev- and all these home used machines brought into the country mm. and every home could afford uh, a video cassette player yeah. but people still want to go to the theater uh-huh. don't but forget at that time at that time a lot of people felt at ease closing in from work and gathering a few people around to watch the films the the in the comfort of their homes so the theaters became obsolete that's why the theaters looked elsewhere for money and they gave out their premises to the churches. Almost all those theaters were ocu- are occupied by churches as we speak today. Mm. But you see, but now, now, we, now we, we are, uh, the silver beds and things have brought back that yearning to go out with a loved one or with the family to yeah. watch a film. And now we realize that we need these theaters no, back. No. We need these theaters back, you know. So I think that you, uh, we have been confused <laughs> I don't all think so. along. No, I don't think so. And, 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 and we've come back to square one. You know, today people are still talking about selling DVDs. Yeah, we've why? That, yeah. We've gone past it. But now people are still saying that, look, there are people That's in so the village and they still have, the, yes. they still the have these uh, machines yes. and they would rather buy DVDs and watch in their homes. You Interesting. So what happens? What do you do? Do you go back to DVD? You don't go back. That's for the theaters. We need them. Ah. Zero two four four three three seven. Let's go to game. One voice. One voice. One voice. One voice. Uh, yes, Prince. Let's take a situation whereby I have a movie, mm-hmm. and uh, we have about sixteen regions now in Ghana. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's say seven p.m. The movie has been premiered all over the region. Fantastic. Exactly. Fantastic. Yes. That, that's okay. Yes. Yes. In yes. that yes. regard, we need the cinemas. And Correct. Right. Because even if 100 people per region, yeah. are making money. Yeah. Volume. So that's why we yeah. need the cinema. And we are trying to promote that cinema culture to bring bond between families, you know, friends, brothers and sisters. They go together. They get their popcorn, coke. It's, it's a culture. And, and the more money and, that and in America, that's what happens. That's every how they make the, the box office. Yeah, every yeah. weekend. You know. The, the circuit has to be yeah, you know, completed yeah. before they even think of sales. Yes, yeah. because once yeah. you finish and you're selling yeah. outright, you yeah. don't make any yeah. money. Yeah. That's right. And because you don't make money, the access are poorly yeah. paid. And, so and everybody loses. For months. Everybody loses. And it's all over. If, if there's a movie screening, it's screened all over. All over at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Interesting. Look at it. All right. Let, let me, the let me open, open the phone lines that. officially. 0244-340-437. And 0302-216-541. That's 0302-216-541. This message here from... Um, Mr. Odame, Mr. Odame is my very good friend from Nafti and my lecturer, uh, great lecturer there. We blame government for the lack of financial support. My question is, how many production companies have come together with your right business structure, pulled resources together, and produced one or more movies? Hmm. Kofi Media and old films tried it once. What was the success story of that partnership? We like doing too many myself or my own productions. Let's find the business structures that allow for good partnerships so two or three production companies can pull resources together to make good films. Doing many of such good movies can um, promote the image of our industry. And as the, uh, as the industry grows, and as the industry grows, the companies can do their individual small budget movies once in a while. Partnerships are very important for the growth of our industry. The film fund will collapse in no time if a semblance of the com. Uh, okay, I get, I get, I get where he is going. I get, I get where he is going. Because of okay, we're gonna go on the phone lines and speak to Secret Safo, my big brother. Senior. Good evening, sir. How are you doing, sir? Good evening. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So we were trying to raise you earlier because um, we were having a discussion on the, um, the element of culture in our movies based on um, something uh, our godfather David Donto said. I don't know if you've heard about David Donto and what he said regarding culture in our movies. Oh, okay. I heard it. Okay, what, that, well, what's uh, your position on that particular subject matter? Well, I think David is right. David is right. Uh, first and foremost, as Ghanaians, whatever we do, let's sell ourselves first to ourselves. Um, I read something uh, in the, on, on, on a blog today where Juliet Asante was saying that let's first sell Ghana to Ghanaians. And I think I agree with her because that has been 
something I've been pushing for. That look, we've been thinking outside, outside, outside market. But please, we have a huge market here that we need to tap into. We will only be able to succeed by selling ourselves to ourselves. That is where the cultural element will come in. Because if I want to portray Bukom to you, I must show you how Bukom is. The way we live in Bukom. But if I show you a different Bukom, I'm telling you, tell me that, oh, this is not Bukom. It is only then that the outsider, when he chance on that work, you see that, oh, so this is how they are. But when you are shooting and you are not interested in selling yourself to yourself, but you are selling it to the outside world, then you appeal to them and do things the way they know it to be. Um, but this is my point. I, I am trying to get your point because I'm also looking at the bigger picture in terms of movie making. Um, again, uh, prior to the discussion, I, I gave examples of certain movies. I look at a movie like um, uh, John Cam- James Cameron's Avatar, and I'm wondering, what culture is that portraying? Where is he showing me? Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, they are not even, it doesn't even exist. You understand? Okay. But what you fail to realize or notice unconsciously is that the American supremacy was somewhere in the film. Somewhere in the film, you feel that, oh yeah, Americans are going to conquer these aliens or whoever. At the end of the day, America won. Uh, no, actually, in other <laughs> they actually lost at the end of the day. It was the aliens or whoever it is that actually won in Avatar. No, but there was an American something there. Fiction. It is yeah, a world now. You see, the point I'm trying to make I is that, you know, what certain yes, we are, I, I was only, I brought that example based on your Bukum certain, uh, you know, discussion. You understand? Okay. And the point I'm trying to make is that, must we, hmm, I, you see, I think there's, the, could we be in a box? of what culture should be or what culture is could we be in some sort of a box so for instance we want to tell a story about Bukum so we go to Bukum and then everything is Bukum everything is being done at Bukum I mean are you saying you cannot create a set of Bukum somewhere else and still depict Bukum or I, I'm trying to understand what you're saying sir okay what I'm saying is that you see when you talk of culture it's not just about everything called, uh, like, uh, people, whatever. But there is something, something in the story that you have pushed there. Is that food that they will be eating in the film? The clothes they will wear, they, they may be speaking English throughout. But in the film, you will consciously put something that will sell yourself there. Oh, okay. Consciously. It may be anything at all. That is the avatar thing that I use. I get you said, now. Okay. I told you that there is something American in there. It well, definitely there is. It may be something special. Definitely, special. yeah, definitely. But when you watch the film, you will feel something American in there. They, they certainly they show their military superiority. Yeah. Good. Good. So this is not something that you call, you do and say that, oh, this is a Ghanaian, we are selling our culture, so we are going to dance uh, before. Fine, you may dance at the before. Just one thing. Somebody passing by and some people are dancing at the back background. That's all. You put, you, you place something there. Mm. Okay. But most times yeah. when, when people talk about culture, it's tempting for a lot of people to think that culture is drumming and dancing. Yeah. And uh, wearing of African. Most yeah. people understand culture uh, the way, you know. Yeah. But simply, culture is just a way of, uh, the way of life of, of, a group of, of the people. people. So, great. So, would you say we have told the Ghanaian story enough through our movies? In our movies? Yes. I told the Ghanaian story enough through our movies. Because um, I like, I'm asking you because of everything you say about America, how they find a way to consciously push their elements, their culture, their history, their everything through their movies. Have we told the Ghanaian story enough through our movies? I know a lot of people will not agree, but from the little that I experienced, I was in America and I went to Sanga's shop. Sanga is a distributor there in uh, New York, Bronx. I was in the shop when these two... Um, uh, Jamaicans work in their women. And he introduced, he called me and said, oh, this is the man you've been asking for. And he said, oh, we've been watching your films, blah, 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 blah. And why? They said they like the Ghanaian movie because when they watch, they feel their culture 
seen the Ghanaian movie. This is real. So here you are. Here we are. We will argue. Oh, there is not the, the Ghanaian culture in there. But these Jamaicans, two Jamaicans who have been buying Ghanaian food from Sanga in America, they watch Ghanaian movies. They don't watch the Nigerian movies. They prefer Ghanaian movies. Because according to them, when they watch, they feel their culture. They can connect to the, the setting, the, the presentation, and the lifestyle in there. So, based on that, I say we have done enough. We'll leave it here. Thank you very much, sir. And um, yes, I hope we can drag you into the studio. You. you may not agree with me, but me, that is what I have experienced. Um, well, I mean, I, 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 George, yes, I, I, want, okay. I want to give you an example of a film. No, I thought you, I, I, I used to speak in Socrates so that we can let him. No, no, Socrates can go. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Socrates has said his piece, but he can go. I, I just want to. Well, thank, you. thank you very much. Um, and we need to read your letter. Yes. George. Yes. I want to say hello to Alice Papa Jani. Oh, you have a new name, right? Alice. Yeah, but I know this name. How did I forget? <laughs> hey, it's not ready. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was listening yeah. to you. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was listening to the yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I saw a film yeah. at Silverbed okay. sometime last year. And I tell you what, I've, I've just forgotten the title of the film. It was shot in Uganda. Okay. And this is a film about a Ugandan who had gone to the UK to study. Okay. He studied and became uh, a professional. But he was supposed to go back to succeed his father that was a, a chief in his hometown. He had fallen in love with a white woman and he convinced the white woman to get back to Uganda with him, you know. And when they got back to Uganda, the rituals that he had to go through. Uh -huh. uh, is it the, the I queen, forget the film. The Queen of Katwe. I think you're right. The Queen of, of Katwe or something. Katwe. Yeah, yeah, Katwe. Yeah. The Queen of, the queen of Katwe. Katwe. Yeah. Now, this is a good film. movie. Good movie that portrayed uh -huh. the culture of the Ugandan. Yeah. And, and, and I said to myself, this is a film that's going to sell both ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it had a white woman from the UK. The in, shock. Yeah, everything. and the shock she underwent. Yeah. And everybody was going to learn something from that. Movie. Yeah. yeah. Now, when we talk about co portraying culture, that's what I think sh okay. uh, should be done. The, that is extreme. See, as I said, culture is just a way... A life of a people. Mm. So as uh, Amma uh, okay. Amma came yeah. was saying, you want to portray the ha the the, the Trasaco kind of houses. Yes, but inside that house, hold, hold that thought. There's a caller on the line. Let's quickly take that caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Name and where you calling us from? I'm Nana Kosi. I'm calling from Adelta. Nana, talk to us. Um, George, you see, so the Trasaco and the big big houses that they portray in our movies is that not? how we live our life. You know, when you go out there, some people think that when it comes to Africa, we live in trees. And this is this is a fact. It's not it's not a joke. Look, this whole put, uh, portraying African life in our movies, the government has to collaborate. You see it's not only about the film fan. You should collaborate. That, that same interview that Kaka was talking about, and the interview that guy, I don't know, called something Latif, he produced the movie, and he spoke about the fact that he was collaborating with the ministry, and he got access to some facilities for free. This is some of the things you are talking about. You see? So if you don't do some of this, and you expect me, whether we like it or not, everybody is doing business. It's business. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell the lane that will get me my money back. So if you want us, if you want them, uh, them to do things, then you know you have to put, you have to collaborate. It's not mm -hmm. only about the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. Money. Thank you very much. He speaks collaboration. It's not just about the money. And this message from Seth Meyers says, We've lost the art of storytelling. Movies like Okran Tumi Road to Accra, Sikasun Sum, etc. were built on effective storytelling. You don't need government funding to tell a beautiful story. Mm. Then yeah. I need to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody else on the line. Hello? It doesn't have to be government. Good evening, sir. Your name and where you calling us from, please. Yeah, my name is Kuku. I'm calling from the side. Kuku, talk to us. Yeah, I, I think the issue is that culture, as Leila was indicating, you see, most of the young 
actors now. They talk like Americans and British. And our dressing as well. In this hot weather, you see somebody wearing uh, a winter boots. So I think some of these things, too, we need to look at it, especially the Kumaru people, those our brothers and sisters from Kumasi. Mm. You know, some of these things will not help promote our... That's not Ghanaian. We don't have mm. winter um, clothing here because uh, it's always uh, um, um, summer, summer, summer kind of weather. So some of these are some of these things I think uh, we need to look at. Yeah, it will help. Thank you very much, my brother. Okay. So, so, uh, the issue of winter stuff, it comes yeah. down to characterization. It comes down to characterization there. Yeah, characterization. You want to, you're a village champion. You want mm. to portray that you've been to America. Bugga! 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 Okay, let's go right to the phone line. Hello? Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, name and where you're calling us from, please. My name is Felix. I'm calling from Kwashima. Philip, talk to us. Yes, George. When you watch a Nigerian movie, they speak English. But what do they call their mothers and fathers? Mama, Papa? Ally? True. Thank you. I, that's not the reason why I called. You see, when I hear our notable actors and actresses talking about we don't have an industry, we, the structures are not there, I cringe. Do, do you know why? When, when um, it is time to make policies, and you call them, you won't see them. Mm. You won't see the notable ones that will be on radio and wax lyrical. I can give you three examples. Uh, just uh, a, a few months after uh, the creative art minister, the new minister came, she organized a conference at the National Theatre. I can tell you how many notable actors and actresses were there. Prince David Osei was there. He left halfway through. Akosa was there. She went. She okay. left later, later okay. in the day. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. Prince David is right here. He says he didn't yes, have with me. Yes, I was. Uh, Prince, I talk. have said that. Uh, hold on. Please. Hold on. Let please. me just talk. Then you can continue. Hold okay. on. Yes. Uh, he said he was there. Hello? He left. He okay. left. Okay. You said I left halfway. No, I didn't leave halfway. I was there to the end of the program. Now, let me tell you what happened. The reason I came to the program was to engage the ministry, engage the organization. See, sometimes you guys think you have it all. Some of us have ideas and expertise that we can give to you guys to make the tourism industry, the creative art grow. But you don't want to listen because you've been surrounded with some few people who think uh, they won't allow anybody to come through. I came there purposely to engage, to ask questions. Now, when it got to the time for questioning, for whatever reason, they decided to Limit. play games with it. Yeah. I raised up my hand several years. Some journalists were sitting behind me. They never called me. And instead, they said they had time to do a whole lot of fanfare, musical, yeah. whatever. Then when it was time for questions, they said they needed three people to yeah. ask a question. And they had to queue. They, need, they had to line up for the question. And so I just went outside, and that was it. Because the essence to which I came for the program was to engage you people. The stakeholders, mm -hmm. but you guys were not, and that is why some of my colleagues don't even attend some of the programs. Because right. whenever they go there, it's like you guys, you have, um, in a way, you you've masterminded how you want things to be done. Mm. So if anybody tries to do anything different, then you cut the person off. Interesting. George. All right. Yes. Uh, but let, let him finish. Yes. Go ahead, please. George. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. I am telling you that. Look, if you, the number of people that line up and ask questions, nobody will sideline the Prince David or say. Tell, uh, um, um, Amake Abebese was there. She also left halfway through. Normally, when programs like this are being held, you can see the the Wachi uh, um, Prince Prince. Uh, what do we call it? Prince Wachi. You you, you see uh, the the Vidontos, the Oscars, the uh, Bob Smith Junior, and the rest. And the ones that claim those that will be in the studio, like Prince David Ose, you won't find them. If you if you have time, I'll give you two more examples. Okay. You, didn't you didn't mention my name. Akofa. Yes, I mentioned. Akofa was there. I mentioned it. <laughs> I mentioned. You were the second one I mentioned. Anyway. You, you see, that, that is what is happening. And please, David, I am not one of them. You keep you, you kept talking about you guys. I, you guys to are you me, I am not. Uh -huh, I've, okay. had ever, I've had several experiences. It was because you brought it up. Because yes. that mm -hmm. I was sitting with Ibrahim, Joe FM Ibrahim. Yeah. So he was yes, like, ah, I know. I have you acknowledged. Know. I have acknowledged. I have acknowledged that you were there. Look, there was a program, National Theatre. If you like, ask Uncle Fritz Bafu. National Theatre organized a program for the industry players. Not a single one of them was there. 
the Ghana uh, Integrity Initiative, they also organize the program, how they can, they can work with the creative art people. Look, it is the same old faces that were there, the David Dantos and the Bo Smith Jr. and the Wacky and the rest. Please, let the, uh, our very... All right, hold on, hold on. Everybody calm. Everybody cool, <laughs> cool, 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 it was two hours back in the article okay. that you guys were going to the... So, hold on. So, one, so thing, comes we, we, we one thing comes clear. One thing comes... One thing is clear. One, no, 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 my boss, thank you very much for calling and sharing these with us. I think one thing is clear. That um, there ought to be proper dissemination of information from their end. And we all have to participate. And participate. Exactly. Because, because no, we all have no, to participate. No, no. Ah, yeah. But the, the, the issue yeah. is... Yeah. yeah. The, the, the industry players are not united. Because if you ah. take FIPAC, for instance, mm -hmm. if you take FIPAC as an institution, how many of the A-list actors, uh, producers, okay. are, are members the, uh, of FIPAC? Okay, God bless you for this question. Now, to be, if I want to ask that, because I have participated in a lot of FIPAC uh, okay. uh, we, we, we activities. We will talk about that off air. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> we will talk about it off air. No, but it is true. FIPAC, you know, Film Association... Prince and Dr. Kelly, everybody hold on. Amaki also wants to react because her name was, she was singed in that um, presentation <laughs> by the caller. Amma, talk to us. I don't know who the gentleman was earlier that spoke. Um, I remember that day very clear. Um, I was actually sitting very close to um, Akofa. Van uh, Vika mm -hmm. was next to us. Um, Mr. Yamicha was near us. Ah, so we were all there. I don't the Say that Interesting. You were all there. We were all there, right? So for this guy to come on radio and say, oh, some of you will not turn up, that's, not, that's very unfair. And a lot of times, you know, you don't even get to hear about it. I was there to the end. I actually asked the question to the minister. I even went to go and see the minister after some meeting. So I do think that this is how people spread false information and make it seem like people... Um, and a lot of the actors or prominent actors are not interested. We are very interested. There are times where I, I hear events go on and nobody told me about it. Okay. So the truth of the matter is, I do think that when people are saying information, know your facts. Mitch, I was there with our, our, our Kofa, um, and Van Vicker was there, I think Prince David was on the other side. And you, if you don't have your facts, don't come and spew it on radio because it's very unfair. Um, I thank you very much. Emmanuel that, that was there. Was, oh, the program wow, started okay. so late. I think two hours after, hours after, so he had to go. He had to go. He had to go. Okay, to go back sure. yeah. We have to wrap it up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm a producer. Ivan Nelson is a producer. He's a producer. <laughs> yeah. Ibrahim is a producer. I can't find Ibrahim. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sister, Kofa, now the problem is when we decided to be part of Five Park. Mm -hmm. I quote Socrates. I spoke to him. He said, "An actor cannot be a producer." So we had this. Oh, wow. no, Thank you very much. And they never allowed us to. It was just recently when I fired some shots on air and they called me and said, Oh, there's a number. If you want to register for Five Pack now, call this mm -hmm. number. Previously, it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. Ever since the movie industry went on the descendants, we have been producing and doing movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. Back, back, yeah, okay, no. I'll talk to you. So you you can join the other one. Which other one? There's Producers Guild of Ghana. Ah, you see? Okay. Yeah. So many. So that's a good invitation. Different. Yeah. But the fire pack, they never allowed us in. It okay. was just a few days ago. This, this, is, see, this is what I no, don't want to do. Right. Right. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to do it. We are going back to the phone lines. We have a caller. Hello? Hello. Yes, your name and where you're calling us from, please. Yeah, please. My name is Dr. Hollywood, a filmmaker calling from Kaswa. Y your, your name is Hollywood and you're in Kaswa? Dr. Dr. Hollywood. Ah, uh, there's doctor on top of the Hollywood. Yeah. But you're in Kaswa. Talk to us, my brother. Okay. Uh, Mr. George. Yes, sir. Good evening to your listeners and my sister, Akofa. We all I greet you. Listened, yeah, I've listened to the program. I think there are some few points I need to do add up. That is about the... You people keep asking, what does the film industry add to the GDP of Ghana? Definitely. And that question, as a filmmaker, having done my own research, I want to answer that question well. You have because the figures? The film industry adds more to Ghana's GDP, both directly and indirectly. Now, let me make this clarification that I always use a car as an example. Hmm? A car can be very well molded, but before that car will move, it needs an engine. The entertainment industry is the engine our country needs 
to move to development level. If without the entertainment industry, that's the engine, and to limit it to the film industry. When, let, let me give you an example. If the, our president, the president of the country, mm -hmm. and all his ministers went to America, and John Dumelo, Majid Michel, Prince David Osei, Jackie Apia, all of them to went to America, the news you hear, it will be about those celebrities, not the, the president and his ministers. That is an indirect adapt to the GDP of Ghana. Mm. If, if our movies go out there, the people out there, it is our movies they watch and they know that oh, Ghana exists. Where is Ghana on the map? They don't look at our president going to places. The public don't look at the president or the ministers. But the celebrities you have in your country show how your country is growing. Nigeria, we keep talking about Nigeria and Nigeria. Nigeria have their in the, the film industry being modified by their government because the government have now understand the impact of Nollywood, not looking at oh by GDP or how much tax are they paying, but by looking at the impact the film industry is making out there. If our country really wants to be very serious, it is the film industry and for that matter the creative art industry that the, in the, the country has to look at first. Because we have the cocoa, we have the gold, we have all those things. For several years, before you before Ghana, we have how, where have they lead us? Because how do people know? We have to, it is the film industry or the engine that has work. Now, modify those things, portray that, oh, Ghana's cocoa is the best in the world. How do you do it? It is the film industry. We have to know. The government partner, I hear somebody say the government has to partner. But with the government partner, we can pick a gold or a cocoa but, from but, Ghana, modify it for people to know that, this is what Coco from Ghana can do for you in the world. Bob, are you there? I'm there. Thank you very much for your contribution. Grateful, yeah? Well then, not bad. All right, that was Dr. Hollywood there, and um, he's also expressed himself. Um, uh, what? Figures, I think you were asking no, for that. No, oh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 that celebrities appear in the states or elsewhere. You know, like Nigeria, they have banks. Yeah. You see, so when when you're saying that we should stop saying government, government, that is. That's from government. Yeah. 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 They have they, they have that for they even sponsor them to go and feather mm -hmm. their the outside. Yeah. They have, they have, they have, they have even have the right. we're, we're, we're wrapping it up. Nigeria. It is okay. true. Yeah. It is true that people develop as they go along mm -hmm. in true. the industry yeah. from being an actor and then wanting to produce or direct. Mm. It's, it, 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 it's, it's, it's natural, yeah. you know, if only you love what you do and you want to. But I want to ask Akufadeva, why are all the actors in the country producers now? I'm, I'm saying all in mm, quotes, okay. not, not every single one. I, I will tell you why I am a producer. Yeah. Because I don't get the kind of stories that ah, I want. Ah, and mm -hmm. I don't I, I either don't get the kind of stories I want mm -hmm. or it's not being directed the, the way I want. The way the want. Yes. Yeah. So the mm -hmm. best way to mm -hmm. is to produce my own uh -huh. and, and do it the way I want to done properly. The kind of stories I want to get away. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Instead of you know, because there's, there's all this stereotype and yeah. some stories that yeah. I mean like uh mm -hmm. you watch it and you mm -hmm. really don't see head and tail of what they are talking about. So, if you don't like it, you produce your own. That is why okay. I am a producer. Akosa, thank you very much. Prince, <laughs> thank you very much. Uncle Ken, thank you very much. Thank you, too. Um, you this know how you finish the oh, other one I was talking oh, about? Please, 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 so inside that trasaku, what is there? Yeah. Is there some painting exactly. that depicts that? Or even the people that are doing it, exactly. Or the food they are eating. Yes, so yeah. when you're saying culture, it doesn't have to be or even language. dance or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you portray, 
can you imagine? You, I watch a lot of the movies, and I see uh, actors wearing a, a cap with New York mm. or a t shirt mm. from Florida or New exactly. York. Mm. You know, mm. it doesn't happen. Mm. You think an American actor will wear a Ghanaian t shirt? Oh, but during, during, during the inauguration, inauguration of America, or they had this KJ thing going on the recently. Yes. Which inauguration? You are talking about about uh, the Black Lives Matter. Floyd's funeral. Floyd's funeral. Yeah, yeah, because it was black, and yeah. they wanted to show well, we, something. We show the that. That's a way of selling Ghana. No, I'm yeah. saying that you're wearing if you're in a film and you're wearing a T-shirt written "I love New York" mm -hmm. in a Ghanaian because, movie. Because maybe the not that you came from New York. No, 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 no. no. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying that we have to be conscious. Right. You see an American movie. You see that. He doesn't want to say anything about his country, but he has a flag. He has a flag. He's a Ghanaian anyway. flag. In front of the house. In front of the house or in his office somewhere. Or it's a country of promoting. We gotta go. Our time is up. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much, Prince David Osei. Thank you, Akofa. Thank you, Uncle Ken. Thank you to um, Leila, to Fumi, to um, Amake, to Ajite and, and, and everybody that um, called in or text or anybody that supported the show in one way. Um, Frank says, um, please advise them not to branch off the main film groupings. It makes the work difficult. One of the reasons why resources are invalid, evenly distributed year upon year. Uh, Kofa and Prince are totally aware of this one. So let's not encourage fragmentations within the film sector. One of the mandate of the Creative Arts Council is to see to empowering the main groups and not fragments. That is from Frank Kifai. This one says, a happy 70th birthday to Madame Elizabeth Davis. We are grateful to God for the gift of life. We love you very, very much, Auntie. From your children, um, Sylvia, Baba, and Jennifer, and grandchildren, Auntie Amam, Hameya, and Yao. It's a happy birthday in advance for Vice Chancellor of UPSA, Professor Abednego Fehi Oku. Fehi Oku. Um, a happy birthday in advance to you. And let me say a happy birthday to uh, happy birthday in advance to my dad, um, Emmanuel Kwe. Turns 82 tomorrow. Happy birthday to you and happy birthday in advance to you, Mama Sewa of um, Food and Drugs Authority. Uh, happy birthday in advance. Tomorrow is your birthday as well. Special thanks to Philip Nye for production and of course to Anita on um, production support. And of course, DJ Uber to give us that powerful bra for jam. Catch me again Monday evening 10 p.m. for the Late Night Express. One, two, three, four. Oh.